Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Capricorn's week ahead for September 13th through the 19th. And in this message we're first going to tap into the energies with the Psychic Tarot deck here. Then we are going to get an overview message with the Fairy Tarot. We're going to dig a little bit deeper with a traditional deck and we'll clarify everything with a mini deck, pull a few oracle cards to sum up the reading. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Capricorn, let's see what we can see, what we can see for you guys. September 13th through the 19th, please and thank you spirit. Most important message here for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to see? September 13th through the 19th, please, and thank you. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to be resonating with every person every time. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that are offered, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Capricorn, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome and it does help set your intentions for future messages. The cards that came out so far are Transformation, Partnership and Alliance, Deception and Envy. These cards just kind of fell off the bottom of the deck when this other card shot out. So we're going to look at these, but I'm going to put these back in. We'll see. We'll get one more card and see if any of these come out. I do feel like there has been an ending to some type of a partnership. Now, this could be a relationship for some of you. This also could be a friendship. Um, maybe like a family member who you had a close friendship with, but I do feel like there are definitely emotional ties here. I do feel this disruption is causing some confusion and I feel like here Capricorn, you're really trying to kind of just wait this out, trying to figure this out. One more card here or two. Choose wisely. This is Seven of Cups energy, okay? And uh, Seven of Cups talks about confusion, right? But it can also talk about many options, multiple ways that this can play out. There's definitely a, neat, a waiting energy that's coming through, having patience with the process, emotional withdrawal, and partnership and alliances. This is actually... Um, three of wands energy so this card talks about waiting as well waiting to see how things play out here it's almost as if something has ended and maybe this person not necessarily ended but there may have been like a blow up that's happened maybe they were called out on their shit maybe you called them out and this is this has caused a disruption, okay, but I feel like it's temporary. It's nothing that's going to last, okay? It's actually, I feel like it's actually going to bring in balance into the situation here. And that's interesting. Look, here's the cards that I put back in the bottom of the deck. So, let's get a little bit deeper into the message here, Capricorn, for you guys trusting the process. Some of you, this is a, a, a partnership, like a love interest, a relationship, romantic partnership. For others of you, I'm getting more of like a friendship type of a vibe. Maybe even more like a business partnership, business partner dynamic. Let's see. For Capricorn.
having patience with the process. I feel like really going within and, and just processing everything for this week. For those of you this is resonating with, take this time to process. It's definitely a situation that this disruption is bringing balance back into this dynamic. So you really need to trust the process here, Capricorn. You may at this time be beating yourself up like, did I make the right decision by going off, by calling them out? Um, yes. Yes, you did. Definitely standing your ground is going to be necessary, okay? You're going to need to stand your ground with this person. You're going to need to kind of put yourself first, put your foot down, put your needs, what you need to feel stable, solid, secure in this connection, in this partnership to even want to move things forward or come back together here. Six of Autumn with the Ego. This is Six of Pentacles, the Devil Energy. There's definitely an imbalance here. This is like a situation that has become toxic. Maybe you guys feed into each other's negative energies and it causes, it brings out the worst in you, okay? Or has brought out the worst in you in the past. I feel like you kind of put your foot down here. You kind of like, I feel like you really stood your ground with this person. And I don't feel like this person liked that so well. Okay. Spirit is telling you to just trust the process. Hold, hold back. Wait to see how this plays out. Take some time this week to really process everything that's gone on in this dynamic. So let's get this traditional deck out here for you Capricorn dig a little bit deeper into this message the king of pentacles is here the king of autumn also the ego is the devil this is Capricorn energy both of those cards are symbolizing your energy Capricorn I feel like what that is telling me is you're really standing your ground with this person you're not you're not giving in you're not backing down and that's what's necessary here that's what's bringing in this um that's what's bringing the balance back into this situation to this well well we have a uh, king of pentacles with the queen of cups mm. Ooh, this could have been a situation with money. Yeah, this person definitely, something happened with some money here. That caused this disruption. Maybe this person owes you money or withheld money from you. Something along those lines. Bitch better have my money. Let's get a little bit deeper feel like this could be a water sign you're dealing with Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely needing to trust that intuition. Death energy is coming out here twice. That's Scorpionic energy. This person could owe money. Stand your ground. You will be successful. I do feel like this person may have to kind of give you what they can when they can. I do feel like you will get all of whatever is owed to you. And I also feel like you're definitely going to um, change your perspective on how you deal with this person.
take some time to process all of this. Don't make any hasty decisions. All of the cards that are coming out here are very slow, well thought out, strategic plan. Okay, movement forward. Taking some time to process this conflict is going to be beneficial. It's going to help you to come up with a resolution. Okay, a strategic res resolution that's going to bring going to help you to resolve this issue but it's also going to help you to deal with this person in a different light because I feel like you've probably had the same scenario happen multiple times so king of pentacles queen of pentacles this is definitely probably most likely a family member or a person that you have deep emotional ties with that's why it's a little bit difficult a little bit more difficult for you to deal with the situation than you normally would especially if this is a business situation okay trusting your intuition on this capricorn because you know you know i feel like this person's probably had the money and they just blew it off blew you off because Let's face it, when a person has a bill and that's not their normal thing to pay their bills, they don't, it's not in, it's not in their mind to pay their bill first. You kind of have to take people for what they are, no matter if they're a family, friend, co whatever, no matter what emotional tie you have to this person, you have to take people for what they are. So if in the past they've had an issue paying other people, they're probably going to have an issue paying you. do feel like you are going to receive you're going to get what you want you're going to receive what you are looking for but i feel like this is going to be a slow process you're going to have a lot of waiting for this person to come around okay i do feel like this is definitely a situation that you're probably going to change your perspective on how you deal with this person for certain so let's get some clarification out here, Capricorn. Take some time to process this again if this is resonating with you because you kind of have to, especially if it's a business venture or business dynamic, you have to take it as such. And a lot of times that's where we get hung up is we get involved with business waiting. We get involved in a business dynamic with a person who we have emotional ties with. And then when we have to put our foot down, it's a little bit more difficult to handle that situation. And I feel that's what you're experiencing right now here, Capricorn. Taking your time through this is definitely going to be important. Waiting it out. This is the third deck that this death card has come out in. Okay, there's definitely... A change, a change is coming here, Capricorn, a change is coming. And I feel like this change is working out in your favor. Probably not so much your person's. I feel like you calling them out on their stuff, if you haven't done that already, that's something that needs to take place because um, I feel like they may be not necessarily oblivious, but not knowing how their actions are making other people feel. King of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords now is definitely a need to make a decision based on what you need, what you need to feel secure in this situation, to trust this person. I definitely get a sense of loss of trust and I do feel here that you maybe have have spoken some truth into this person's mind. If you haven't, I feel like this is definitely going to take place this week. This conversation. The victory will be yours. But you have to take some time, process the situation and really just be strategic on how you proceed because i feel like if you try to be aggressive or try to force this person to give you your money that that might not be the best way to handle the situation for some reason 
and you're gonna know for your situation but I'm getting a sense here that that's a bad idea for whatever reason take it how it resonates Capricorn you know for your situation you kind of have to let go of like this is this is my cousin or this is my friend or this is this is what you have to let go of the past emotional connection that you have with this person if you're dealing with this person with business the emotions got to go away i know it sounds harsh but it's real that's reality people that know that you have emotional ties to them they will take advantage of that you notice how maybe you're putting on an event or you have a business or you get a new job at a new place and everybody wants a discount instead of trying to support and help you uplift you in your business take this time to process all of this because there's a big changes that are happening and I feel like this is a, about the way you're perceiving this person okay so let's get a few cards out here let's get a different deck we're gonna get a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward here capricorn for this week i am going to do an extended version guys to this reading in the extended version we're going to take a look at um is there anything else that you guys need to be made aware of let that come to the forefront let's take a look out what are the next steps here in this dynamic? Where is this all headed? The outcome, if the guidance is followed. If that's something you guys are interested in, I'll pull over. We always pull out some Oracle decks over there, the guidance cards, the soul truth deck. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining. It's the, the links are all below. The first link is to the actual video. The second link is to subscribe to Vimeo. And when you subscribe, you get access to all of the extended readings for all of the signs. So you can check that out as well. You have the devil and the four of pentacles coming out here. Capricorn, the ace of pentacles came out in reverse. This person, is causing delays in something that's very beneficial for your life. I feel like you know this, Capricorn. You know that this this person is causing these delays, okay? And I feel like you're that's why you're calling them out. There is going to be success in this process here. But being strategic is going to be the key. Standing your ground and just speaking your truth. Speaking your what you're feeling, what you're thinking about this person. I do feel like this is this is a heavy energy that you're moving through. It's a um, not the easiest situation to deal with. But once you're able to speak your piece, you're going to see this positive movement forward but again taking the time this week to get clear on that message on what you want to say processing everything that's gone on with this person looking back on the past and just being very realistic and practical with how you see how you perceive this person and the situation here capricorn so Let's get a Soul Journey card out here for you guys. I am going to do an extended version to this reading, Capricorn. In the extended version, we're going to take a look at... Oh yeah, we said that. Get on with it, lady. <laughs> Let's see here, Capricorn. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Your soul is spirit manifest in this physical dimension. Even though you may feel limited by the constraints of your body, your connection to the infinite wisdom of the universe is always available to you in the form of intuition. 
You are never alone when making any decision. Spirit only wants the best for you, and by listening to your inner voice, you will always be guided to the proper outcome. All you have to do is ask. The expectation of others is only an illusion. You were not born to listen to fear, you were taught to listen to it. Visualize any decision in your life as a fork in the road. How does your body react when you're, you imagine your travels down each path? At first glance, one may look easier to traverse, but the destination will cause anxiety and a heavy heart. Another path may be more difficult to walk, but the destination will feel light and calm. When you silence your mind and listen to your intuition, the signposts will always be obvious. Take it how it resonates Capricorn, but I do feel like that does definitely pertain to how you're perceiving your person. Okay. I do feel like there is a little bit of indecision of how to deal with this person because of the emotional ties. And you need to understand when it comes to business, that emotional mess does not matter. Do what's best for you and your business. But be strategic about how you move forward as well with this person. Because I feel like you have to be strategic. This, there's a reason you have to be strategic with this person. Okay? I'm not sure. Okay? I am I can only speculate. But I'm not going to say that on this channel. What I'm thinking about. But I do feel here that this person might cause more harm than good if you handle this person in a particular way Capricorn if you get my drift I open new doors to life I rejoice in what I have and I know that fresh new experiences are always ahead I greet the new with open arms and I trust life to be wonderful Beautiful Capricorn, beautiful. So Capricorn, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.